Welcome back, I'm Jason, and this potato salad we're going to show you how to make today can be used as a standalone side dish or be paired with your favorite barbecue. So the first thing we've got is I've got some potatoes that have already been peeled and rinsed, and uh, these are Idaho or russet potatoes. And then I've got four eggs, we're going to boil these together, and then we'll wait until the uh, potatoes are fork tender, and that's whenever we'll mix all the rest of the ingredients. So the first thing we're going to do is come over here to the stove and I've got this set on about medium high and this may take about 20 or 30 minutes. We'll let these go and then we'll be back to uh, show you the rest of the ingredients. So stick around. Okay, so now we got the uh, potatoes fork tender and now what we're fixing to do, let me show the ingredients. We we're going to put in the uh, boiled egg that we've cut up. We've got onions. These are green onions. You can use whatever kind you want. We've got uh, diced up pickles. We got some salt and pepper, some mustard, and then we've got some paprika and some uh, onion tops to garnish along with a uh, sliced up egg for the top. And then uh, the secret ingredients are right here. So let's start by putting in the egg. Be very careful with the potatoes because uh, you don't want them to turn in the mashed potatoes. You're just gonna fold everything in real gently. Now we're gonna put in the uh, green onion. Next will be the pickles. Now we're gonna, this is kosher salt so you start out with a, a little bit and then adjust as you go. Same with the pepper. Now with the in secret ingredient, actually there's two of them. One of them is going to be, we're using these sour pickles. The sourness uh, from the pickle really gives it a good flavor. And then here is, if you're in the south, you, are, you already know about this, but this is Duke's Mayo. If you don't have it at your local grocery, you can get it on Amazon, but I found this to be the best mayonnaise for a potato salad. It's just really, really creamy. You start out with a good, good three helpings, and then you'll have to adjust from there. Some people like their potato salad more mustardy, than versus mayonnaise, but that that's just entirely up to you. All right, so we got the mayonnaise all incorporated. Now we added in a little bit of mustard. All in all, it was probably a good solid cup of mayonnaise, and then you'll have to adjust uh, to your taste on the mustard. Um, you may have to taste it several times to get it the way you want it. She's so putting a little bit more mustard in there. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and garnish this out. We'll start with the uh, sliced eggs. And then we'll come back with the, uh, the paprika, or I'm sorry, the uh, green onion tops. Sprinkle that on, make it look real nice. And then some paprika. And you can do this pretty much however you want if you want to substitute other other things but this is just the way we like it all right so be sure to watch the next one as I'll show you how to make a pork loin to go along with this till then I'll see you on the next one be sure to like and subscribe see you later